everyone, it's Miss Mazzy D. I wanted to give you this little tutorial on how to achieve uh, a bang and poodle updo for you. Um, I didn't in I didn't initially um, want to do this as a tutorial. I wanted to include it in a blog style kind of, or vlog style kind of video. Um, so that's why this doesn't have a really proper introduction, but I just wanted you to have one to reference to. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I was totally inspired and when I was watching a Jaclyn Hill makeup video and tutorial and did this smoky eye with like red accents and stuff kind of feeling it what do you guys think well it's time to do my hair and I'm gonna set you up again um, probably the regular way that I do hair actually yeah I think so because I need to clear this stuff up and let you get a good look at what I'm gonna do. So stay tuned. And I wanted to use this little bump it thing um, to incorporate into the hairstyle, but it's better when you cut it in half in order to do bangs with this look. Um, but I don't wanna do that yet because I use it for work and if I cut it, then I won't be able to use it anymore. So. I'm just gonna take out all of the pin curls. With this hairstyle in particular, you don't really need to tease it because you're gonna be using extensions. I use these, they're just like clip-in extensions I got on Amazon. And um, you're really just going to layer up the hair and it's gonna be put up anyway into like an updo. So you kind of want to keep your hair curly like this and intact when you're doing a poodle to hide the wefts of the extensions. Get the biggest one that you have. This is a three clip weft. And put that in between your layers right here. It doesn't really matter where. And if you feel like they're gonna fall off, you can tease your hair so it'll adhere to it better but I don't think I do. So I'm just, there's no really strategic way of doing this. I'm just gonna make sure that the clips of the extensions are hidden. And that they're really high up on the head because you're gonna bring your real hair up over it when you pick up your hair. So I'm doing this before I take out the front clips. See how they kind of just blend in. I am going to make sure that all the clips are hidden, which they are. And then you could take out the rest of the clip here, clippies here, like that. And then that's when you want to take a comb and kind of just start picking up your hair on the sides. Um, and oh, you know what I forgot about the Dita bun. So I want to do the Dita bun first and it depends on how big you want that bun to be. I like to just take the first little section of my hair that is parted already and go ahead and brush out the curl. And I'm going to do a little ponytail. And at the end of this ponytail, instead of making it completely go all the way out, I'm just going to do it halfway like that. And then 
kind of try to spread it out and see how that looks. See, it kind of turns into Betty beans, some full fit, some full Betty beans here. So depending on how big and how thick you want it is how much hair you should put in there. Like this is very, very little hair, very minimal hair. And usually I would want to wrap around the leftover hair around the rubber band right here. But you don't have to do that if you're, you're going to be picking up your curls. So I'm going to smooth out this section with some hairspray. Kind of picking it up underneath. And it kind of already formed here. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and kind of just expand the hair to my scalp further back. So it, cre it creates kind of like a little U and you can comb out the bang to make it look smoother. So the same thing with this side, pin that down to your scalp. And you can make it as big or as low as you want it to. So that's what I'm doing with it in here. It's not perfect, but you don't really need it to be. Especially since, again, like I said, you're going to be picking up your hair around it. So I'm going to start doing that. Start picking up the hair. And you, the key to this is just wanting to make it super smooth. And I like to start actually start at the back because, or like around the back and the sides. I like to just pick up my hair and start smoothing out your hair over the wefts. Picking it up, smoothing as you go. And then once you have a really good, solid, smooth surface on one side, start pinning your hair to your head. So that way your head or your hair stays close to your scalp. And you start creating a smooth back and surface all around your head. Now this is where it kind of gets tricky because you want to hide the wefts in your hair. So if you have it really um, low on your head, you're going to see them a lot more. Or you're going to have a harder time hiding the wefts with your real hair. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just picking up my hair, trying to hide the wefts of the extensions over that hair. So you kind of have to just feel around for this and make sure you're constantly checking the back of your head to see if oh, you've got all of the hair straight. Practice makes perfect. So now you kind of had to like a, have a little um, thing going on already and you kind of want to gather the curls around making sure that they stick together so I like to buy these um, bobby pins to do styles like this because they just gather them together for you and you don't have to like it doesn't weigh down the style so I'm just picking up and placing the curls where I want them. Making sure that I'm pinning it securely to the head. And regular, regular bobby pins can work too. I mean, it just depends on your preference and how you can how you feel more comfortable maneuvering the style around. These widths are kind of already getting old, so I want to make sure that the crusty side of them <laughs> is hidden. So I'm just getting more bobby pins and 
maneuvering it to how I like it. So you see how on the sides it's kind of coming out? I want to smooth that over and make sure to pin down that side. And then you can kind of maneuver the curls over that side. So again, smooth out and pin the curl or pin the side. And as you like the style and how it's coming out, you can start spraying with hairspray so it stays put. So this side here needs to be pinned down some more. And here's where you can actually really manipulate the curls to be really structured and make sure that the, the curls are being well pronounced. You have basically free reign to do whatever you want at this point. And this bang is kind of getting crunchy over here. So I'm just spreading it out and maneuvering it to my liking. Kind of so that curl I can kind of hide that side where I don't like the bang. Set that in place with hairspray. And just remember, if you have a section of your hair that you do not like, you can always put some hair flowers in it. <laughs> What I like to do with this style in particular, especially on hot days, um, like say the tiki pool party at Viva, I will put hair flowers all around the outside, like the back of it, and I will put it all around the sides too. Because there's no such thing as too many hair flowers, I think, when it comes to the tiki pool party. The cool thing about this kind of hairstyle is you can pick it up, wear it like this all day, and then when nighttime comes around, you can change it up, put it, take it down, and brush it out and style it a different way. There you go, guys. It's not perfect, but hey, I was not looking for it to be perfect. <laughs> I actually, um, Pretty proud of how it came out and then I'll turn around right now just to show you the back I don't even know how it looks in the back because I'm doing it for you guys here but let's just pray that it came out okay and I hope you can see how the back came out I'll be right back with some hair flowers to put in my hair I got these hair flowers from Lil Lulu I'll link them down below and I am going to put this, like I said, on the side that you think needs it the most. Right here. The hair flower kind of helped it go a little swoopy, which I like. And always double it up if you like too i love doubling up my flowers see how pretty that is huh who knew that the hair flower would help me there you go if you're feeling down if you're feeling depressed get yourself dolled up and you'll feel so much better it's like totally saved me today i think uh -huh.